Hey, welcome to Maximum Bat Speed. Want to do this video here of this, of this young lady here, an elite player, plays for Arizona, just has tremendous power, tremendous hand path, just uh, tearing it up with home runs. And I want to show you what she's doing in her swing right here so that you can hopefully emulate what she's doing. Now, my purpose in my YouTube videos is always to help and educate either coaches or players to either do drills or to do particular moves in their swing to get them to get to a higher level. Now, this particular video right here, I truly believe will help you to get your swing to a higher level if you work on it daily. So let's get started here. Now, if you watch my videos, you know that I'm a strong advocate of letting that back elbow work back and behind you. Now watch what's going on right here with this player here. This is what you see in elite players. As she starts to work forward, the back elbow works back and behind her. Back and behind her. Now the drill that I want you to do here to get a better hand path, for to get more power, to get a very nice hand path in your swing where it just goes around the deltoid and allows your elbow to work up to the height of your mouth is this. Now watch what's going on right here. As she gets into her heel plan, and I would highly recommend for you to do this on a daily basis, let your back elbow work back and behind you as your hips are starting to rotate after heel plant. So in other words, you're getting to heel plant, but your back elbow continues to work back and behind you back and behind you. Now this move right here, if you're not used to doing this, you're going to feel like you're going to have so much coil in your upper body. The key here is this. Now watch how high her elbow is, okay? In other words, her back elbow is not dropping down to her rib cage. At lower levels, that's what you see. The back elbow starts to drop down at the rib cage or the back elbow starts to creep underneath the hands. In other words, back drag. This drill right here, if you do it on a daily basis where you just get to heel plant and let that back elbow work back and behind you, don't let that back elbow drop, feel as though your back elbow still continues to work up, back, and behind you, up, back, and behind you. Now obviously it's going to drop a little bit when you do this drill because of the hip rotation and the elbow eventually will slot. But for the purpose of this drill right here, I would highly recommend for you to do is just do it with super smooth tempo, very smooth tempo. Do it in a very slow and methodical manner at first until you get used to that pullback, the resistance. And again, as you get into your heel plant, continue to feel your back elbow working back and behind you. So in other words, what should be occurring is this. As your hips start to rotate in this manner, okay, as they start to rotate counterclockwise, your back elbow be, will be working counterclockwise in this manner so that you have one part of your body working in one direction as your lower body works in another direction. Now this is crucial for torque for separation of the lower and upper body. Now watch the crease in her back of her uniform right there. You can see what's going on and the only way this can happen is if you have tremendous pullback, tremendous resistance. This will give you an opportunity to have a beautiful hand path where again your bat goes right around the deltoid and as your elbow works up to the height of the mouth you'll be able to explode through the ball. Now I did a two hour and 45 minute video getting into much greater detail that I'm doing in this video right here and also no teaching my students that buy the video how to build your swing sequentially so that you can retain the drills that I teach. Now if you do not build your swing sequentially what happens is you will get lost in the middle of your swing at times. You're not going to know where to go to fix it. The way I designed my video on, you, on my build your swing plan is to build it sequentially so you can always go back in case you are deficient in a particular drill or move that I build a swing upon. Now again this video right here this is crucial for you as a player to get your swing to a higher level. Again, let's recap. As you're walking away from the hands, let the back elbow work back and behind you. As you get into heel plan, continue to feel that pullback. Watch what she's doing here. Watch the crease in the back of her uniform. Do this over and over. Now, once you feel more comfortable with that, allow yourself to have that beautiful hand path right there. Just let your swing get to this stage right here. 
feel your bat going around the corner of your deltoid. And again, as you do this, you can see here, even at this stage of the swing right here, this is crucial. Now pay attention what's going on. Her back elbow is back here and her hands are still in front of her body and I'm sorry in front of her back elbow and again normally what I see at this stage of the swing with lower level players the back elbow is creeping underneath the hands or even further to the point where it's almost like fat drag you do not want to do that while you're doing this drill again as you're doing this again build it one piece at a time get to the point where you're walking away from the hands and from there get yourself the heel plant where you're filling that pull back and again let that back elbow work back and behind you even as you're getting to this stage of the swing let the bat let the hands work around the deltoid of your of your right shoulder and then from there let the elbow work up to the height of the mouth but when you do this make sure and this is crucial that when you do this and I bring this up in my videos all the time you want to have the elbow working up to the height of the mouth like she does right here and you want to have your barrel working below the barrel working below your hands this is crucial you do not ever want to have a flat bat okay you want to have the barrel below the hands and you definitely never want to have your elbow dropping down like this where you're swinging at a ball where your bat is like this okay that is wrong again this right here is wrong when your elbow drops and your bat is flat you want the elbow to work up to the height of your mouth and the barrel below the hands this is going to give you more power through the ball it's going to give you better extension through the ball where you can explode to the through the ball now the only way that can happen again it all starts with a good setup it starts getting to toe touch with that shoulder to shoulder the elbow look with that pullback and again as you get into heel plant continue to feel that pullback that top hand torque that resistance and again that will give you that beautiful hand path where it works around the corner again watch how her back elbow stays back it does not creep underneath her hands therefore bat drag and again as you get into the point of contact let that elbow work up to the height of the mouth so you can hit to and through the ball and explode through the ball I hope this video has been helpful I do online video analysis I get request on a frequent basis I've helped a lot of students get partial and full scholarships over the years due to my technique I hope you uh, call me or email me if you need my services and again the video that I have on my website is only a desktop uh, download only